Perfect. All right. If you remember, we were about to enter into uh, this area over here. Don't know if it'll let me or not. Well, let's find out. Play church organ. Oh, okay, so I'm probably on the wrong side. Investigate elf ranger. I think I've already done that part. Investigate arms. Yeah, we've done this. Let's go back to the other side. How's everyone doing this morning? Bunch of bats. Enter large door. Last time we were just talking through the door, so the fact that we're entering is good. Attack, attack, attack. Hmm. Pray at the altar. There's something to do with the altar. Also the organ, we know how to play that. Full prayer points. Play a song on the org. Up the staircase. Sure, let's go up here and see what's up. Attack, attack, attack. It'd be a mess if I started attacking people. Let's examine this bookcase. I hear music. Is that... Good source of books. Good source of books. Oh, another staircase. Let's try that one. Ah, open the Mauritania coffin. Let's search this crude table first, just in case. Nothing useful. I saw somebody over there. Talk to Drizzle. There we go. If I open this, is he going to do something crazy? Not opening it. It's not working. Alright, let's check the coffee. Sounds like there's something alive inside it. I don't think it'd be a very good idea to open it. Doesn't seem to want to open. Claim key, key token. Okay. Automatically redeem them in the future. Must use up an earned key before you can claim another from this token. Alright, we want the quest. I think it's yellow. Is it the Druid Ritual? Is that the one I'm on? Oh, I'm not on that one. Okay. Imp Catcher. That's a different one. Ah, Priest in Peril. That's it. Alright. Spoke to King Rold, who asked me to investigate why this friend, Priest Drex Drezel, has stopped communicating with him. I headed to the temple where he lives. It was all locked shut. I spoke to him through the locked door. I told he told me there's an annoying dog below, asked me to kill it. I did easily. And I told Raoul he was furious. The person who told me to kill the dog wasn't him at all. I go to the temple, find out what happened to the real Drezel, or the king will have me executed. Okay, so I found the real Drezel. Come, I can't open that door. Come, I can't talk to him. I'm guessing I have to open this door, but uh, talk through this other. 
Hello! Oh, you do not appear to be the one of the Zamorkians who imprisoned me here. Who are you? And why are you here? My name is Mangler 3M. King Raoul sent me to find out what was going on at the temple. I take it you are Drezzle. That's right. Oh, praise be to Sarah Doman. All is not yet lost. I feared that when the those Zamor Zamorakians attacked this place and imprisoned me up here, Miss Thalin would be doomed. If they should manage to desecrate the Holy River Salve, we would be defenseless against Mauritania. How is a river a good defense then? Well, it's a long tale. I'm not sure we have time. Tell me anyway. Tell me anyway. I'd like to know the full facts before acting any further. Ah, Sarah Doman has granted you wisdom, I see. Well, the story of the River Solve and of how to, it protects Miss Thalin is the story of this temple. And of the seven warrior priests who died here long ago, from whom I am descended. Once long ago, Miss Thalin did not have the borders that it currently does. This entire area, as far west as Varroque itself, was under the control of an evil god. This was frequent skirmishing. There was frequent skirmishing along the borders, as the brave heroes of Varroque fought to keep the evil creatures that now are entrapped on the eastern side of the river Salve from overrunning the human encampments who worship Sarah Doman. Then one day, Sarah Doman himself appeared to one of our mighty heroes, whose name has been forgotten by history, of course, and told him that should we be able to take the pass, that this temple now stands and Sarah Doman would use his power to bless this river and make it impassable to all creatures and evil in, with evil in their hearts. This unknown hero grouped together all of the mightiest warriors whose hearts were pure that he could find, and the seven of them rode here to make a final stand. The enemy swarmed across the solve, but they did not yield. For ten days and nights they fought, never sleeping, never eating, fueled by their desire to make the world a better place for humans to live. On the eleventh day, they were to be joined by reinforcements from a neighboring encampment, but when those encampments arrived, all they found were the bodies of those seven brave but unknown heroes. Surrounded by the piles of the dead creatures of evil they had, that had tried to defeat them, the men were saddened at the loss of such pure and mighty warriors, yet the sacrifice had not been in vain, for the water of the Solve had indeed been filled with the power of Sarah Doman, and the evil creatures of Mauritania were trapped beyond the riverbanks forever by their own evil. In memory of the brave sacrifice, my ancestors built this temple so that the land always be free of the evil creatures who wished to destroy it and laid the bodies of those brave warriors in tombs of honor below the temple with golden gifts on the tombs as marks of respect. They also built a statue on the river source so that all who might try across the Mistalan from Mauritania would know that these lands are protected by the glory of Sarah Doman and that goodwill will always defeat evil, no matter how the odds are stacked against them. Okay, I can see how the river protects the border, but I can't see how anything could affect that from this temple. Well, as much as it saddens me to say so, adventurer, Lord 
Sarah Doman's presence has not been felt on the land for many years now, and even though all true Sarah Domists know that he watches over us, his power upon the land is not as strong as it once was. I fear that the, should those Zamakorid, Zam, Zamarakians somehow pollute the solve and desecrate his blessing, his power might be able might not be able to stop the army of evil that lurks to the east, longing for the opportunity to invade and destroy us all. So what do you say, adventurer? Will you aid me and all of Miss Thelen in falling boiling this Zama or Zama a plot? Yeah. Yes, of course, any threat to Miss Thelen must be neutralized immediately. So what can I do for to help? Well, the immediate problem is that I'm trapped in this cell. I know that the key to free me is nearby, for none of the Zamorakians who imprisoned me here were ever gone for long periods of time. Should you find the key, however, as you may have noticed, there is a vampire in that coffin over there. I do not know how they managed to find it, but it is the one of the it is one of the ones that somehow survived that the battle here all those years ago and is by now quite quite mad. It's been trapped on this side of the river for centuries. And as those fiendish Zamorakians pointed out to me with delight, as a descendant of those who trapped it here, it will recognize the smell of my blood should I come anywhere near it. It will, of course, then wake and kill me, very probably slowly and painfully. Maybe I could kill it somehow, then, while it is asleep. No adventure. I do not think it would be wise for you to wake it at all. As I say, it is little more than a wild animal and must be extremely powerful to have survived until today. I suspect your best chance would be to incapacitate it somehow. How about some garlic? Interesting, but I feel that garlic would be too weak. Perhaps you could use the salve itself to hold him at bay. Okay, got it. Find the key to your cell. Do something about the vampire. When you've done both of those, I will be able to inspect the damage which those Zamorakians have done to the purity of the salve. Depending on the severity of the damage, I may require further assistance from you in restoring its purity. Well, first things first, let's get you out of here. Examine cell door. Hastily constructed yet sturdy prison door. Open cell door. Talk through cell door. How goes it? Any luck finding the key to the cell or a way of stopping the vampire yet? Nope, not yet. Well, don't give up, adventure. The key must be around here somewhere. I know none of those Amorkians ever got very far from this building. How do you know that? I could hear them laughing about some gullible fool that they tried, they tricked into killing the guard dog at the monument. Ooh. Honestly, what kind of idiot would go around killing things just because a stranger told them to? What kind of oafish, numbskulled, dim witted, 
Okay, okay, I get the picture. I'm pretty sure you have to kill it to move on, so they're just gonna keep teasing me about it, but it's really not my fault. Alright, so it's not here. Examine the coffin. Coffin with a Cerdomian star as a decoration. Wait, examine statue? Ceridomian has lost his head again. Two staircases going up. Another statue. Same thing. I could attack one, but I'm sure if I attack one, they'll all attack me and I'll probably just... Probably beat. I'm guessing. Alright, I don't see anything up here. No keys randomly. I'm broken. Ceridomen. What are they, why are they saying that? That's on the other side of the wall, right? Why does it say jump? It's way over there. That's weird. Well, I will eventually go over there. I'm looking for keys right now. Examine him. Examine the pew. Sort of bench you get in churches. Good exit, but I feeling it's here, but I guess it could be around the outside. Around the outside. There's a bat out there. I doubt a bat has a key. Just for kicks. Ooh, I raised a bunch of stuff. I pick up some bones. And bury some bones just for the sake of having something to do. Investigate tree. I feel like I've done that before. Nothing hidden in the hollow. Investigate the fence. Ripped piece of rough linen cloth caught on the fence post. It seems to be part of a blue robe. Go up there. Climb a rope with all that. Need agility level 65. They probably mean jump to it, not... I 
enter mausoleum. Let's go in there and let's see what happens. Hopefully they don't try to bury me in here. Doesn't look like there's anything. Let's try opening this key. Study monument. Ceridomen is the needle that binds our lives together. It's a needle. One of these is going to be a key. A leaf. Cerido is a delicate touch that brushes us with love. Study this monument. There's the key. Ceridome is the key that unlocks the mysteries of life. Notice it's not gold. This has got to be it. Found it. That's got to be the key. How come it didn't appear in my bag? Still shows a key there. Monument of the Fallen Priest. Every time I try to take, it hurts me. You look down, see the filthy, polluted water in the river solve. Moving slowly. Maybe I could like swap a key, like put a fake key there and then take that key. I don't know where I got that idea from. A vessel that keeps us safe from harm. Spark that lights our hearts in our hearts. Hammer that crushes evil everywhere. Light that shines throughout our lives. It's gotta be this. This has gotta be the key, but it won't, can't take it. Maybe if I go back to talk to him, then it will tell me to do something. Walk through the cell door to Drizzle. How goes adventure? Any luck finding the key to the cell or a way of stopping the vampire yet? No, not yet. So I found a key. It wouldn't let me take it. I got hurt when I tried to grab it.
I checked out there. Got in a bat, that did got me nothing. Gonna investigate the monk again. Nothing. Investigate the box. Might be a key in there. Nope. Talk to this guy again. I spoke with Wizard Valina, noted down what she told me. You show them your findings. I knew I could count on her. This but information changes things somewhat. Elves, monks, wizards, guards. This is all so confusing. What do you think is going on? Clues are too convenient. They don't seem to add up. Clues lead to a clear conclusion. Mm, you see clearer than I in my old age. Who do you think committed this atrocity then? It could be the Ceridomus wizard, Brother Sardom Ceridoman, Brother Samwell, more suspects, and somebody else did this. Hmm. Perhaps you are right, adventurer. Hmm, perhaps you are right, adventurer. It's hard to accuse any one person of these crimes. I may not be as sharp as I used to be, but I am tough to fool, adventurer. Crime scenes are so similar, it almost, it's almost as if the clues were planted. It does seem odd for an assassin to leave so many clues. Precisely, and besides, Duran and Sarah Doman have no quarrel with each other. I think someone might be trying to turn them against each other. Against each other. Oh, what would someone do that for? Like I said, I'm not as sharp as I used to be. None of this seems to explain this trapped souls. I believe I may be able to explain mortal. Oh boy. I look like a dog with horns. Who said that? Who said what? I can't hear anything. Do not be alarmed. I sense Do not be alarmed. I sensed you on the surface for My arrival is imminent. Wait. Can you feel Wait, can you feel that rumbling? Oh dear. Greetings, mortal. I am Ixlarin, god of the Examine Ixtalarin. Greetings, mortal. I am Ixtalarin, lord of the god of the underworld. Who might you be? A jackal headed god of the underworld. Greetings, mortal. I am Ixlarin. God of the Underworld, who might you be? An intrepid adventurer, a mighty warrior, a shrewd investigator, a courageous hero. I'm gonna go with intrepid adventurer. Mangler 3M, intrepid adventurer. If your words bear truth, I may have use of you. If your words bear truth, I may have use of you. I sensed many dead here, but I did not foresee these circumstances. What happened? What happened? Someone killed these people. Perceptive. These mortals pass at the hands of another. Pawns in a greater plan, perhaps. Greater plan? There has been a most grave turn of events, adventurer. The Reaper of Souls, whom you know as Death, has gone missing. Without his scythe, there is nothing to sever the tie between souls 
and their physical shells. Look about you. The souls are in limbo, shackled to these lifeless husks. I have traveled across all of Gilinor, bearing witness to the same thing. I cannot help them all. Why did this concern you? Is everyone who dies trapped now? What happened to death? What happened to death? A question I myself cannot answer. Nor can his helpers, nor the guardians of Gothics. I have not known death to abandon his duty. Not once in thousands of years. There are sinister powers at work here, mortal. I must find him with due haste before things fall apart completely. Why does this concern you? Is everyone who dies trapped now? Is everyone who dies trapped now? Only in the realms of Gilinor are the realms are not governed by the same principles of mortality. Death does have failsafes in place. Helpers that are able to use shards from his scythe to release souls. But we are in times of great unrest, and they are unable to keep pace with the flow of souls. So I am assisting by transporting the deceased to them. But I am tired, mortal. There is much that needs my attention. Why does this concern you? Death and I work harmoniously. Our destinies intertwined. Without him, I cannot fulfill my role. I am the guardian of souls. I care not for the process of dying, for that is the concern of the Reaper. I stand my vigil at the gates of Gilinor's underworld. It is a dark place filled with all manner of devourer beasts. Their thirst for souls insatiable. The underworld, huh? The death delivers the souls he has collected, so I may safely shepherd them to the afterlife. Hmm. I bet it's like dungeons you go down. Without him, the souls remain trapped. Without me, they become lost. I suspect that the deaths here are more significant than the others I have seen. I must lay eyes upon the clues you have collected, mortal. You show Ichthalian your findings. It is just as I expected. The person you are looking for is a devious Marjorat called Sliske. I believe he may also be connected to Death's disappearance. The question is why? Kidnapping death and attempting to turn gods against each other. Something is amiss. Who is Slisk? Who is Majorat? Why is he committing these crimes? Who is Majorat? The Majorat are a race that I brought to Gilinor during the Second Age from the planet Freneske. They are powerful, long lived and war-hungry. Do not trust them, mortal, as they will stab you in the back when you need them most. Why is he committing these crimes? The answer to this as yet eludes me. I fail to see the connection between kidnapping death and turning gods against each other. What is clear is that he is setting in motion dangerous events, and we cannot let him continue. Who is Slisky? He is a treacherous Majorat who once served me until his betrayal many years ago. Recently, he slew Gothics, the god of balance. 
There are no one is sure of his whereabouts or the power he possesses. I would ask for your help, mortal. You have seen the evil at work here, and now you know the truth. I'm ready to help. Our highest priority is... Wait. Something is wrong. Prepare yourself, adventurer. I sense the approach of undead. I'll weaken them, you finish them off. One out of four defeated. Level up. I can do this. They're level seven. Oops. You retrieved a mysterious box from the white body. Well fought, mortal. I am not accustomed to undead withstanding my power. We make a good team. Why did they withstand it? Perhaps you're not as strong as you think. We make a good team. Indeed. You dispatched the weakened whites with skill. One of them was carrying this box. A peculiar object. There's some sort of mask affixed to the lid. Oh. <laughs> I bet you didn't see that coming. <laughs> the mask what in the woke up. World is that? <laughs> oh, don't be so surprised. You must have been expecting something. Or had you not figured it out? What is your purpose, strange creature? Lisk's ascension? In light of recent events, he must believe he has obtained godhood. This mask must be mad to believe I'd ever respond to an invitation sent by that backstabbing snake. Poor old Ixlarin, so easily frustrated by a talking box. We had a funny feeling you'd be at this way. the audacity to kidnap death himself if you know nothing of the consequences. Now, now, Yiki, settle down. All you have to do is play along. You would dare invoke the wrath of a god? Much has changed. You've been away ever so long. Always one step behind. If you want to save death, Ooh. And what if I was to open it? Anyone near the box will be teleported all the same, but only those who have been invited can enter the Citadel itself. Do not include me in your deceptions, traitor. 
Release death immediately. Sriste. It would see me as a cornered mortal. We should take the light to him. We should attend his ascension. We shouldn't trust him. We should take the fight to him. We must exercise caution in our approach. Sriste is not your normal adversary. The situation is apparent to me now. Sriste's plan is as evil and manipulative as I have come to expect from him. What do you mean? With death gone, Sriske knew I would come to the surface world to deal with the trapped souls. After killing the people you see here, he predicted my arrival and left his whites to ambush me. But they were just a show of his power. The real purpose was to deliver his invitation. Kidnapping death leaves me no choice but to attend his ascension. Well, why plant the clues at the crime scenes? Ah, yes. This is the key to his master plan. I believe he is hatching similar schemes to also force the other gods into attendance. The piece of the puzzle before you seeks to turn Seren and Saladomin against each other. If they have both returned to Gilinor and believe each other to be at the Citadel, they will likely attend in order to confront one another. If I am correct, Sliske will have a plan in place for each god. And the situation is more dire than I first believed. I was right to seek your help, adventure. The evidence you gathered has been invaluable. If Sliske is gathering the gods in one place, who knows what he may do. And to make matters worse, he has kidnapped death. I cannot stand by and allow whatever madness he is planning to unfold. I can't believe it. You were right all along, adventurer. We have to bring him to justice. You need not concern yourself with this, mortal. But, but, but sorry, but he killed my brothers. Rest assured, Sliske will answer for his crimes. Still, I cannot bring myself to trust this box. But if we don't save death, will things ever go back to normal? No. It is a fact I am well aware of. First, I must transport these souls to Death's Mansion. After that, it seems we have only one option. are in safe hands with death's helpers. Open the box when you are ready to be teleported to the Citadel, adventurer. We must exercise caution, adventurer. We were given this by Siske, after all. Are you sure you wish to open it? We must. Death needs our help.
You slowly tilt back the lid of the box. Teleported. talk to him up here. There are many high-ranking followers here. Evidently, I was not the first to receive an invitation. You may speak to those present for more information, or notify me if you are ready to proceed. Wow, there's a lot of people. I want to continue. I want to see if I can learn anything interesting. I'll do the interesting for now. Talk to Flight Kilissa. Welcome, fellow devotee to the Winged God. Who is Armadil? You don't know who Armadil is. He is the god of the Abiancy, the most selfless and benevolent of all the gods. Armadil represents freedom and justice. He believes the races of Gilinor can live in harmony and champions a future of peace. You are lucky to be stood upon his sacred ground at an event that will echo through history. Support Armadil and rid Gilinor of war once and for all. Who are you? We are the bodyguards of Kriari, champion of Armadil. We have been chosen to take his place while he assembles Armadil's forces for his return to Gilinor. It is our duty to loyally serve in the name of Armadil. Has Armadil returned? Armadil is back. Our people will unite once more and take to the skies. Unite? Even when Armadil left us, we stood strong against those who opposed us. Now he will take us beneath his wing. No longer will we be lost. We will rise to the clouds. I remain cautious. What if he were to abandon us again? He thought us destroyed. Armadil will give us new hope and bring justice to the realm of gods. He won't leave us again. He can't. He has grieved our dead long enough. We must take action. Or join them in the eternal flight. Glory to the Abiancy. Is this Liske's Citadel? No, the Imperium Citadel belongs to Armadil. This great Citadel was once Armadil's seat of power in Gilinor, where the wisest of the Abiancy held court. In our absence, Sliske has taken it as his own to host his ascension. Sliske's arrogance has hastened Armadil's return. In the past, only the most powerful of Aviancy could enter this citadel. Sliske's presence here is an insult to our ancestors. We will reclaim the citadel and put an end to this sacrilege. Talk to General Grarador. Squishy little human. What do you want? Squishy little human. Why are you trying to fight everyone? Bandos keep peace with gods for now. So Grador keep peace with puny followers. Bandos is here? Little mask man, promise big fight. Big, big fight. When it starts, me smash you first. Smash, smash, smash! Who's Bandos? 
Goku is Vandos. Vandos is big, high war god, strongest of all the gods. He band together the goblins, ogres, orcs, and trolls for glorious victory. Goodbye. So we put the winged, the orcs. Let's talk to Commander Zelene Zil Ziliana. How dare you have the audacity to attack followers of the great Saradomi? What are you talking about? It was you who attacked us. What's going on? Stay out of this, human. Enough of your lies, elf. Saradomi knows Seren has a presence here. He will deal with her. Your guard is a liar. We communicate with Seren through the crystal singers in our homeland. How could she be here? We were given information she would be. If she hasn't returned, then why are you so far from home? We were told we would find Saradominists here, so we could make you answer for your crimes. Tell them the truth. It was Slisk that murdered them. He planted the clues to set Seren and Saradomin up. Why would he want to do that? So he could give you false information in order to lure them to his ascension. Lure them here. Perhaps I shouldn't have trusted that informant. How do you know all this? I investigated the crime scenes with Ictalian. Slisk employed similar tactics to lure him here, too. He knew the gods wouldn't have come without a reason. He's managed to manipulate all of us. Perhaps our quarrel is not with each other. That's for Saradomin to decide, not you. Even now we know the truth. You still won't accept a truce. The fact remains that you follow the wrong god. I do not trust your kind. Talk to Krill Sutharoth. What do you want? What are you doing here? Mind your tone when you speak to me, human. The events unfolding here are of great importance to my master. Zalorak. Why does he care so much? My lord would not allow a Zerosian murderer to claim godhood without challenge. He has come to see with his own eyes. He walked the same path himself many thousands of years ago. He will know better than anyone if Sisse has ascended. Wasn't Zamorak defeated by Saradomin? Defeated? Huh. Saradomin made his followers do his dirty work. Zamorak may be weakened, but he is far from defeated. We remain loyal to the God of Chaos, and we will see him reign. Where are his other followers? We suffered heavy losses at the Battle of Lumber. Many Zamorakians were forced into retreat. The marginalites you see here have their own interests in mind. They are not true servants of our master. They show more interest in their selfish goals of ascension and pathetic rituals. It will not be long before Zamorak denounces them. Moya and Moldark, alongside others, are left to recover what's left of our forces while the Saradominists lick their wounds. Mark my words. We will strike back. Where are his other followers? We suffered heavy losses at the Battle of Lumbridge. Many Zamorakians were forced into retreat. 
The Lord's rights must see here have their own interests in mind. They are not true servants of our boss. They show more interest in their selfish goals of ascension and pathetic rituals. It will not be long before Zamorak denounces them. Moya and Mondark, alongside others, are left to recover what's left of our forces, while the Saradominists lick their wounds. Mark my words. Don't make me put my strength to use, human. Get out of my sight. Talk to General Kazard. Be gone, human. You have no place here. Why are you here? We have come to deal with that filthy Zerovsian Sliske once and for all. It is an insult that these undead creatures try to deny our presence in the Citadel. Our power will not be dismissed so easily. No mere white can keep me from entering. Sliske cannot claim godhood without us having something to say about it. What's stopping you from going in there? Bite your tongue, human. Unless, of course, you wish to use it. They will not hold us at bay for much longer. Even their combined power could not stop us. I will not stand idly by while this ascension takes place. Are you still loyal to Zamorak? Remains to be seen. Zamorak threatens to denounce us as we were not present at the Battle of Lumbridge. After all these years, he would question us? In his weakened state, he seems to forget what we are capable of. Zamorak is not the only one capable of achieving godhood. Our kind have shown much promise. Lucian came close, and now Sliske claims ascension. I will make sure I am next. Talk to enough Be human. You have no place here. Okay. Same three. They're all together. Mm, I wonder if all six of these people are. Let's go to over here to the Acthenicos. These guys are scary. Why are you Zerensians here? Zaros is ever present, but he has yet to return to Gilenor. We have come to represent him in his absence. Did Slisk invite you? He did not. As fellow Zarosian Majoret, we believed he would welcome us inside. It would seem only the gods themselves were deemed worthy of invitations. These undead brothers refuse our entry. With such powerful beings gathered here, it is only a matter of time until someone breaks in. And it will take more than some of Sliske's whites to stop them. Is Slisk's... He has always been selfish. Now he has the arrogance to claim godhood. I seriously doubt his loyalty to the empty lord. Sliske has his own methods, Rahisitel. We do not know the extent of his loyalty. You think yourself wise, but you are a fool not to distrust him as an Adra. I will not be a part of this latest deception. There is no way of knowing if he is still loyal to Zaros. Sliske has always played his cards close to his chest. Do you believe Slisk has ascended to Godhood? It would seem he has completed the steps to become a god, but I am not sure I believe he has ascended. What we believe is irrelevant. It's what we know that's important. Sliske is not only mischievous, but he is also dangerous. I'm not even sure he trusts himself. 
Do not make the mistake of underestimating him, adventurer, as so many have. These look like all the uh, bad guys. There's a door up here. Well, let's talk to these guys first. Goose in the infested. Gods only by order of the... With this guy. No entry without an invitation. So these are all the guardians. Show your invitation if you wish to pass. Same thing. Okay. Let's go up here. Let's open this door. Door has been locked from the other side. Looks like storage crates. I like how you can see through walls. Storage crates, storage crates. That's all I see. Okay. Alright, so I've talked to pretty much everybody. There's a little bottle over there, isn't there? Oh, well, these are just pots. They're probably just decoration. A little stairway or a little ramp down here. But I don't see anything particularly interesting. Alright. Let's keep going. I'm supposed to talk to Icky. Alright, Icky, ready to go? I want to continue to the Citadel. It would be more effective for us to split up and search for death. If I use my invitation to enter the main chamber, you can infiltrate the rest of the Citadel. Now Ixlarin is allowed in? I have had enough of this! Get out of my way! <laughs> Access denied! What is this sorcery? Sliske! Let me in! I'm guessing up here. Yeah, because he let me in from the other side. Investigate storage crates. Crates seem to be filled with smoke bombs. Probably same thing. Yep. Alright, we're looking for death. Where would death be? Death was in here. We would not be in the storage crate. Oh, there's a door over here. Let's go over there. Slisk is like so happy you came to his party. And I will continue to protect my followers from you at all costs. You speak as if you are benevolent, Saradomin, but you do not practice what you preach. You need war just like me. I see it in your eyes. The lust for glorious battle. Ixlarin. This dog strayed awfully far from his home. I see Sliske managed to bend you all to his will as well then. Watch your tongue when you speak to me, Nick Thalarin. 
I thought only the mightiest gods were invited. What's this peon doing here? I am a god, and the recipient of an invitation, same as you. Good. This gathering could use another level head. The arrogance displayed here is shameful. Arrogance? I strive to guarantee the safety of all who call Gilinor home, as a true god should. Mm, the blue. We are all gods here, gathered for the same purpose. We must be wary of Siske's plot. Now your play, Sigfladin. You would be a fool to believe you are wiser than I. You have the audacity to think you are warning us. Siske has yet to prove he has gained any power. He will not manipulate me. Yet here we all are. The most gods assembled in one place in all of history. And I am sure, like I, you were persuaded. View window. I should continue my search for death. Open door. No shoe policy. Nice to feel the breeze. Filled with smoke bombs. Filled with smoke bombs. I want to get to that door. Is there a way through? Can I get walk to here? You sure that's the right way? Look, a face made for me. Ha ha ha. Where's my... Ooh, a storage crate. Here we go. Some discarded notes in the box. They read... Barrows, brothers. You are the lucky subjects of the next experiment involving the power of the Shadow Realm. Watch this space. Crates fill the storage box. Hmm. Examine storage crate. Crate containing various objects and some notes. Jump gap. Slisk is like happy to see you came to his party. Run across planks. Drop down rock face. Climb down rock face. Really should say climb up rock face for me. Alright, so I made it to the other side of the building. Now I can go through that door I was trying to get to.
which was Climb through obstacle. There we go. There's that door. I made it. Oh, I made it out here anyway. Anything over here? Is this wearing anything new? Examine Relomia, emissary of Slisk. He seems to be a bit stuck. for me himself. Here's another storage crate. This has got to be it. Several copies of the same list. It reads Gods, Armadil, Bandos, Brassica Prime, Ixthalian, Marimbo, Saradomen, Seren, Zamorak, Zaros, Other Mischief Makers, Death, Mangle3M. Examine the storage crate. Copies of a guest list. That's funny, but... Oh, examine flagpole. Flagpole bearing the standard. That's interesting, this thing you can't do anything with. Oh, examine memorial statue. I guess you can. Statue to commemorate the Avianci lost in the God Wars. Oh, here we go. I'll walk around this way. Open the door. That's the door I was looking for. Climbing up, up, up. Open the door. They won't be happy when they see me, but... Yep, look at that. Level 7 foot soldiers. One of the whites. Oh, there's more light over there. Any more light? Any more to fight? What if I go over there? What will happen? Oh dear. Protected by the shadows. Glad I have good armor or something. Hardly hitting me. All right. Oh, seven of them, huh?
Hmm. I can't see in that direction. It's healing fast. So I need to get him to come over here. It's not going to want to. I could do a... Well, no, my ranged attack wouldn't help either. Hmm. How do I get him? Oh, there's a light over there. Okay. Let's go this way. I can grab that light. But that puts him in the light. It does. Get him quick. Glad he stands still. Not the brightest white. White not bright. Three down, four to go. Oh boy, two at once. Thankfully they're in the light. He doesn't sound happy. Five down, two to go. That one's way over there. Furry bones. Furry bones. Wish I had like an auto bone bury. Every time you got on the embargo, immediately. Ooh, I leveled up. So there's two foot soldiers here. I could just come straight at them, but they'll probably come towards me. Let's go this way. Let's get this second one. In case they come towards me. Whoop. Now again. One left. Come this way. Come this way. Come on. There we go. I Hear the click of a door unlocking. Burying bones, and there's the door.
you want me you want me to stand there so you can just hit me, right? Nothing big. Oh, here's a big window. View window. You think it would be so easy to lure me here? I came of my own volition. I would see this with my own eyes. You were once a Marjorat, same as he. Sisky knew you would come to witness another of your kind ascend. It is the rest of us that have been manipulated. <laughs> it's amusing that you believe Sliske could manipulate me. He simply promised me one. It doesn't take an elder god to work out what that was. Stop your squawking. He promised me you would all be here. And he promised me war. Ha, try me. You've seen what I'm capable of. You may have got the better of me once. But that does not make you a conqueror. Savadomin, you must see how Sliske lured you here. I am not as oblivious to details as some of you may believe. The truth has not eluded me. False information was fed to my generals. I believed Seren would be here and came to confront her about an attack on my people. Even the attack itself was a setup. Had Seren returned, she would also be here, manipulated by the same plot as you. Then what I have heard of Sliske is true. He is as sly and devious as they say. How could you allow yourself to be fooled by this snake? Unless my eyes mistake me, I see you stood here. Same as me, Armadil. We are in my Empyrean Citadel. I will not allow Sliske to hijack the home of my people. And what of you, Iklarin? Just happy to receive an invitation, were you? You know as well as anyone. I will not trust this pretender in a millennium. Why are you here, then? Not for the company, I'm sure. He has kidnapped death. What is a god of the underworld if there is no death? <laughs> so, you've come to save your fair maiden? No, no. The dog has come to fetch his bone. Enough. I am not alone in my search. And we will find him. All right, open door.
rotate shadow caster. Rotate shadow caster, rotate shadow caster. Oh, okay. So there's a there's a shadow here and I have to rotate it to show something. It's probably this picture right here, viewing thing. What are you? We are projections of our masters, this day. We've been here for ages. I'm bored to death. Chill out. Don't mind him. He's always this grumpy. We're in charge of the puzzle, and we want you to be the first to play. I don't trust you. What do I do? Why should I take part? What do I do? All you have to do is rotate the dials on the four corners. You're terrible at explaining it. You have to move the dials to cast different shadows into the pit. This will be a piece of cake, sounds fun, but only to find it. Okay, go ahead. Hmm. Let's do this one. This one's got not much here. again. Try again. There we go. There we go. Unlocked. No. You may as well give up. It's clearly too hard for you. they tell me when I got it, or do I just have to keep guessing? Should give me like a target or something.
Examine viewing panel. Some strange marks affixed to it. Now, why don't you... Hmm. Is that it? Pretend the mouth was right. Now let's try the eyes and make them back. There we go. That's gotta be it. Those are the eyes. That mouth didn't work. Oh. They told me good. Are you sure? No, no. That doesn't look like it to me. Okay, I'm sorry. Please don't go. You can't leave me with this brainless moron. <laughs> Who, me? Sounds depressed. Hear the click of the door unlocking. the cut scene at the window again probably that big window over there or this big window how about this one all right cut scene what's going on Like a dragon, something smells. Oh, it's a person. Talk to death. Hey, I found him. <laughs> Thought I was death for a minute there, didn't you? You should have seen your face. <laughs> I must admit I'm a bit surprised you made it this far. You're cleverer than you look. Oh. You look cleverer than you are. Where's death? Now, now, there's no need to be like that. Why does everyone like death so much anyway? He's so grim. <laughs> Tell me where he is. Hmm, you know, I could do, but where would be the fun in that? We'll play a game. I ask you a riddle, and if you get it right, I'll give you a gift worthy of the gods. 
things. I don't have time for your gay. Oh, you're no fun at all, are you? Fine. If you answer correctly, I'll give you death. That's more like it. All right, let's hear this riddle. Okay. I can build castles. That melt in the rain. Build castles that melt in the rain. But I trickle down. As the seconds drain. What am I? That's nothing for a mastermind like me. A stupid riddle for a stupid mask. I like a challenge. Nothing for a mastermind. <laughs> we'll soon see about that. Hidden in these chests are a series of objects representing possible answers. When you have the object you believe is the correct answer, simply place it on this plinth next to me. After answering the or but, there is one catch. The second chest will only unlock once you have answered the first riddle. The third will only unlock once you have answered the second riddle. Then you must answer the final riddle. A riddle within a riddle within a riddle, you might say. But be careful, the correct answer could be in any one of the unlocked chests. How can I trust you to free death? And I hear the riddle again. How do I answer? Uh, how can I trust you? I suppose you cannot trust me, but you've come so far. Either you turn back now, or pass the final test. Although, rest assured, I would reward you with a gift worthy of the gods themselves. Goodbye. Open the first chest. Fire. Time. Sand. Fire can destroy a city. Time can... How about time? Use time. See you selected time. Are you sure this is your answer? Sure, why not? Final answer. Ooh, incorrect. Guess again. Sand. You selected sand. Are you sure this is your answer? Sure. Oh, well done. You've unlocked chest number two. Have a riddle as your reward. 
I can fall from the sky. Three. But I cannot climb higher. I spring with no legs. I run but don't tire. What am I? Shadow, water, how about water? How about light? No higher. I'm gonna go with water. Water run. Water falls from the sky. Ah, I see you selected water. Are you sure this is your Yeah. Well done you. That's chest three unlocked. Here's the third and final riddle. Should probably hear the riddle, huh? Life or death. Glass can't create me, but stone and steel do. That's gotta be death. I'm made by the sun, but out of its view. I can be tiny, also be vast. In the shape of my maker, like a spell, I am cast. That's gotta be death. I did, I found a ha 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 ha. Selected death. Are you sure this is your answer? Yeah. Incorrect. All is not as it seems, adventurer. It rarely is. Selected life. Are you sure this is your answer? Incorrect. All is not as it seems, adventurer. It rarely is. Oh, it's not one of these two. Shadow. Ah, I see you've selected Shadow. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Of course the answer was Shadow. It's the realm of my master after all. Yeah, it makes sense for the clue. Now hold up your end of the bargain. I played your game. You must release death. Promised you a gift worthy of the gods themselves, and a gift you shall have an invitation to my master's ascendancy. Not what I wanted. But it's something. What about death? You said you were free him if I answered your stupid riddle. I must confess that was a little white lie. Perhaps you should take a look through the window and see for yourself. But scene number 17.
There is no place for your theory of chaos in a peaceful world. Then stop hiding behind words and prove yourself in combat, coward! <laughs> Do it! I can't wait to watch you decimate each other. Settle down, children. Settle down. Do not presume I won't kill you, Siliske. For all we know, you haven't gained any power at all. I thought you might say that, so I've brought a little surprise for you. Try not to get too excited. To my right, the one and only Death. And to my left, the ferocious dragonkin, Strissax. <laughs> I know, I know. Sometimes I impress even myself. And what makes you think your new toys will prevent me from crushing you? Gods! We could put an end to this lunacy right now. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, slow down there. Let's think about this for a moment. What would happen to your beloved mortal followers if I was to kill death itself, I wonder? You wouldn't dare. Wouldn't I? And if that's not enough to stop you, perhaps I should release Strissak. He seems to have increased in power lately. Someone's been using the Stone of Gas. Perhaps. Now, oh, if any of you want to take the risk, be my guest. No? I thought not. Now, where were we? Grab the invitation. There's a door right here. Map doesn't show it is being oh it's a tiny little room. Ah, oh, I have to probably jump down here. Yep, jump off drop. Looks familiar. Talk to Krill. I'm a okay. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm I'm here with everybody. Uh back to the beginning. So now I can go through the main entrance. Oh, 
fragte Eki. Or just go all the way in. Let him out of the cage. Well, well, well. The guest of honor has arrived. You're late. Welcome, mortal. What is this human doing here? He has demonstrated certain talent. What's the matter, Vandoffs? Jealous? I earned my invitation fair and square. And how did you earn an invitation? He has more right to be here than you, Weasley. I have heard much of your diligence and courage from Tor Park. You are welcome in my citadel and amongst my people. How touching. Moving on. You are just in time for the main event. Oh, yes. An event for the ages. Sliske's Grand Ascendancy. Are you sitting comfortably? Let him carry on with his show. Demand him re release death unharmed. I've had enough of your games, Sliske. Release death before things get ugly. <laughs> Adorable. I like this one. I'm running the show now, and you're going to want to hear what I have to say. Then spit it out already, charlatan. Ooh, feisty. Charlatan, he says. Coming from the usurper himself. Interesting. Get on with it, Marjorat. You're trying out patience. Yes, yes. I can see you're all desperate to know what this is all about. Well, I happened across a couple of items. Artifacts, you might say, of the Elder variety. The Elder God artifacts are not toys for your amusement, Sliske. They are dangerous. Indeed. You'd only need to ask a certain recently deceased god to find that out. I have managed to acquire not only your staff, but also the Stone of Jass. The Stone of Jass? What reason do we have to believe you of all people? I see no proof you possess the stone. You didn't notice I dressed up for you, Zamorak? Really, though, I'm glad you are. Believe it or not, I don't go around kidnapping Dragonkin for fun. There's a certain method to the madness. Thing, isn't it? Those of you who are paying attention will have noticed him calling me a false user. While I don't like to be referred to as false, it doesn't take a genius to figure that one out. You are not worthy of the power the stone possesses. In the wrong hands, it could be used to remove all the gods from Gilinor, as Gothix did. You ought to be careful then, haven't you, Saradomin? The 
The stone's power comes at a price, let's say. As your own power increases, so too does the Dragon King's. You will just be one more to suffer the consequences. Make him get on with the ascension. Ask how he captured the great dragon king. How did you capture a creature as powerful as the dragon king? A good magician never reveals his secrets, does he? Fortunately for you, I'm not a magician. It really was quite trivial. Turns out the Dragonkin are a remarkably predictable race. I was hoping for more of a challenge. I will destroy you, Bob-Yuta. You can see how angry it makes them, can't you? Destroy the false user. It's highly amusing, actually. Anyway, I simply lured poor Strissach into the Shadow Realm. In he charged, screaming like a big, scaly baby. Then before he knew it, trapped. Nowhere to run. Brought us here for your ascension. Have you become a god or not? <laughs> You really believe I brought you here so you could have answers? No, no, no. There will be no ascendancy today. This is supposedly your grand ascendancy. You've lied to us enough. Have you obtained godhood or not? I wouldn't want to spoil the fun, now would I? It's highly amusing keeping you all guessing. You're just dying to know. I am tired of your game. <laughs> Answer us before I crush you. Oh, but you can't be tired of the games. They have only just begun. Besides, Bandoff, you're going to really like this one. It's time for the real announcement. I am holding a contest. A free-for-all, you might say. A battle of the gods. This is ridiculous, even for you. I am done here. Not so fast, Zamorak. You might want to stick around for the next part. It's really going to heat up. If you think we will be part of your games, you have truly lost your minds, Miss Kay. You really are no fun at all, are you, Saladomin? This is the calm before the storm. You should savor the moment. It's not so much a game, more the survival of the fittest. There is only one rule, you see. It is only a matter of time until our moon, Zanaris, passes the sun, resulting in a total eclipse. Gilinor will be engulfed in shadow. It is at this exact moment the contest will end, and the winner will be the person who has killed the most gods. <laughs> Finally, you say something interesting. Be quiet, and let the intellectuals talk, you brute. You truly have gone mad. Why would any of us listen to you? Because, Armadil, there's a prize. Just one little prize that I think you might all be interested in. On the day at which the sun is eclipsed, someone will stand victorious, with most of you defeated. 
And to that person, I will gift the Stone of Jash. What? This is madness. This will cause all out war on the gods. That's insanity. I don't believe a word that comes out of this rogue's mouth. <laughs> A little lost for words, are we? Pick your next moves carefully. I wonder who will score the first kill. You're mad! What exactly do you hope to achieve here? Well, that's for me to know, isn't it? Survive if you can, Zamorak. Maybe then I'll let you in on my secrets. The stone is not a toy, Sliske. Do you have any idea what this will cause? What's the matter? Scared Bandos will crush you? Maybe you should be more tactical, you know. Pick off the weaker gods. And what about our honorable guest? How do you feel about this, adventurer? Be careful what you say here, mortal. The gods do not forget. Contest is good, too many gods. Contest is bad, cause too much destruction. This will allow my chosen god to prevail above others. This is my chance to win and become a god. I don't trust Sliske to be true to his word. I think that'll last one. I don't trust you to keep your words, Sliske. I won't be fooled. Gods, I implore you not to listen to Sliske. We must seek peace through justice. Quiet, coward. I can smell your fear. This great battle will show who is strongest once and for all. Even if you have become a god, Sliske, you are merely a fledgling. You do not have the right to enforce this. You cannot fool me with your diversions. One way or another, the Stone of Jas will not remain in your hands. Open your eyes. Sliske is manipulating you all. He's not to be trusted. Told ya. Side with Armadil, Bandos, Saradomen, Zamorak. More options. Icky. Support the Godless. Support Sliske. Side with Icky. Icky's right. We shouldn't trust a word he said. He will only try and deceive you. Deceive us. All you weaklings will fall beneath the god of war! Stay your tongue, beast! Only I can stand as the true god. Silence! Enough of this petty arguing. If you won't do it, then I'll kick things off myself!
finally give you the key. I don't know. Get this out first. I'm not sure I can hold this. You were hit by a fireball. Pulls you out safely. Oh, I can't get hit by a fireball. How am I supposed to dodge that? How come it's not unlocking? Examine cage. Breathed in shadows. Unlock cage. Hit by a fireball. Okay. This does not seem to be working at all. and then run back here. I just did.
quickly. Free death from his chain. I just did. How come it's not doing anything? I click unlock. Am I supposed to use my key or something? I don't have a key. Unlock cage. Sam and Death. <clears throat> Not able to do any. Just stands there and does nothing. He does absolutely nothing. Free death from his cage and return to my sight. To shield one hold. I did it. Nothing happened. Maybe I need to unlock, talk to death. Fast. Hit me quick. Maybe I have to go an alternate way around. Camp out fire?
Whoa, Fireball found me. No. Okay, so I figured it out. You gotta go to the back way, stomp out the fire, and then run out the back way all in one oop. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Whew. Yeah. Awesome. Such incredible graphics. Icky looks kind of tired. But death has come. Did he teleport us? He did. We got away. Only took 20 tries. Glad we figured it out. I am glad I encountered you today, mortal. You proved a valuable ally. Oh yeah. I am valuable. What will you do now? There is much work to be done. I have duties to attend to in the underworld. And my absence will have had consequences. There is an abundance of souls to be reaped. We must be cautious. Gods will fall in the coming days. The Stone of Jas is too powerful to be ignored. Some may fight. Some may go for Siske. Some may employ other tactics. But everyone will want the Stone. could be facing the start of the next God Wars. Even mortals may try to win the stone. Thanks. Make no mistake, adventurer. These are grave times. We all have a part to play. Clearly, Sliske has taken an interest in you. You will play a key role deciding who survives the coming days. As a world guardian, your choices could decide the fates of the gods themselves. This is the most pivotal event to have occurred for thousands of years. The consequences will shape a new future. Gratitude for your help, mortal. Our paths will cross again, I am sure. Wait. Did you bring... I am afraid he had many bargaining chips. However, the events that transpired were of greater importance. But what about my brothers? He's a murderer. 
Do not fear, mortal. I will free their souls, so that they may rest in peace. Farewell, adventurer. What a day. Thank you for all your help. I am eternally grateful, adventurer. Take these as thanks. They are the least I can offer. You can use your invitation box to return to the Citadel, gather extra rewards, discuss lore, or even meet friends. Wow. 15 quest points. Tons and tons and tons of leveling up stuff, including stuff that's for high level stuff. And keys. Uh, how about attack? Level up. I think I was 15, now I'm 16. Agility. Thousand agility. That's gotta be a level up. Yep. Level 5 in agility. You can dodge nothing. <laughs> Actually, you can jump long distances. Rub the prayer lamp. Level up to level 10. <clears throat> Increased combat level. More prayer points. Rock skin. Something equipment. What's this box? I probably still can't open it. Nope, of course not. Alright, I got 20 keys to use. Let's go ahead and get these. Randomly sized lamp, chance to double, three times the normal prizes in normal treasure hunt. Moldering. Um, lamp XP. Or defense. Wide range of chests. Treasure hunter, random treasure hunter, treasure hunter, random treasure hunter. They look identical. Crafting XP. Proteon. Treasure Hunter. I don't even know what Proteon is. <laughs> Hail Energy. Uh, Divination. Rainbow. That seems like a special one. 
Three sombreros. Oh boy. Three XP. Let's go with the XP one. Oh, I don't have enough room to use them all. Oh, great. Trying to use some of these, gain some. Use all small scars. There we go. Two small scars. There we go. object. Great. So I get sombreros. What do you do with a sombrero? Take up three. <laughs> three spots in my backpack? Wear sombrero. How come I only get one? I don't know. Double dragon. Hey. Four times the normal. Fallen Star. All these are for magic stuff. Let's go with the lamp. Rub the lamp. Say rub all, please. Nope, one at a time. Level up. One more key, let's do. Does not seem to be um, paying any attention to me. All right, so I think the active one is still the the priest one. Yeah, it's also the imp catcher, but I don't think I can catch up right now. It seems to have been working the best right when I started. It seems to have gotten much slower. I wonder if that's something. Randomly sized bubbling lamp. Seems interesting. Medium, medium, or medium. You can get ranged. Experience for ranged. Skill of your choice. Um, let's do this one, range. And I got a medium thing. What would I like it for? Let's go with... Strength.
I'm up to level 16. Hey, that's pretty good. Increase the range. 208. Oh, I'm sure that'll level me up. To level 7. Wear mask. Ooh, spooky. Seems to have been stuck. Can't rotate the camera right now. Oh, I turned off the keyboard. That'll do it. Read Book of the Underworld. Ooh. Well, we just saved death. I think that's probably a good stopping point. All right. Well, thanks everyone for joining us. If you want further future episodes to be live, twitch.tv slash mangler3m. Previous videos, youtube.com user mock3m.